I want to solve this radical equation. To do that, I can only get rid of one radical at a time. So I'm going to isolate one radical. I'll isolate the x plus 9 under the square root symbol by putting the square root of x minus 7 on the other side. Now when I square both sides, I've eliminated one of my radicals so that I have just x plus 9 on the left. But when I multiply out the right, which is 2 plus the square root of x minus 7 times 2 plus the square root of x minus 7, I'm still going to have a radical left. I'll have x plus 9 on the left. On the right, I'll have 2 times 2 is 4. And then I'll have plus 2 times the square root of x minus 7 plus another 2 times the square root of x minus 7. And then x minus 7 times x minus 7, both under the square root signs, cancel the square roots, leaving just x minus 7. So I have x plus 9 equals, see, 4 minus 7 is negative 3 plus x plus 4 times the square root of x minus 7. So I want to get 4 times the square root of x minus 7 by itself to eliminate that radical. So I'm going to add 3 and subtract x from both sides. But when I add 3, I get 12. When I subtract x, the x's cancel. And then I have on the right 4 times the square root of x minus 7. Dividing by 4, I get 3 equals the square root of x minus 7. To get rid of this radical, I now square both sides again now that it's isolated, leaving just x minus 7 on the right and 9 on the left. Now solving for x, I add 7 to both sides to get 16 equals x. But I do want to verify that that is indeed a solution. So 16 plus 9 is 25. The square root is 5. Minus 16 minus 7 is 9. The square root is 3. So 5 minus 3 is 2. It does work. So x equals 16, or the solution set is the value 16.